Yeah, I straight back into to Pro 14. Uh, it's a massive block of games for for all clubs across Europe, and you know this is the tenth one in a row. And um, you know, thinking back to that uh, zebra game ten weeks ago, it seems such a long time. So uh, one more to go in this block, and you know, like every every week we treat every game the same. And start the preparations this morning. Obviously, the Irish lads are away in camp, and. And now it's up to the squad to to make sure that we we end off this this block well with a, with another good performance. Uh, definitely going to have 11 changes in the team, and there might be a few more. Also, a few guys have, have played a lot over the the last few weeks, so we, we are going to freshen up our squad. So all the focus will will be on ourselves, and then once we get there on on Friday to to adjust and uh, have our captains run there, and then put up a performance on on Saturday afternoon. Um, you know, you've got to treat every team with respect in, in any competition, so we'll give them the respect that they deserve and, and prepare accordingly. Yeah, I don't think the dynamic changes. Uh, everybody's excited every week to, to get a, a shot, and obviously it's quite obvious to a lot of the younger players that you know there's, there's 11 guys gone and there's, there's selection opportunities in the week and in the next four weeks. You know, we, we're heading two wells in, in three of the next four encounters, so... Uh, you know we're going to fly there quite a lot, and you know, it, it's opportunities for guys that, that wouldn't get a lot of opportunities over the the Christmas and the European block. So, a lot of excitement ahead about what's to come. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty important from our side. You you work so hard to get in a in a good position, and it's it's about attacking that position. You know, you're not going to maintain in this competition. You know, Glasgow is is such a good team. connor has been playing good rugby. The Ospreys and and Cardiff are in with a shout. So in terms of our group, you know, you've got to keep performing week in and week out. I think this whole squad now that's left over after the Irish guys are gone, we're going to be buzzing for this week's preparation. It's an opportunity for a lot of guys now to, to state their claim or to get game time that they haven't had. So I'd say there's going to be a great energy around the building today. There's not more pressure, but we have a responsibility to lead the lead the guys throughout the week and how we prepare. And then for us that are playing, like we've got to lead on the field too. And yeah, definitely not an elder statesman, but I feel definitely a bit more experienced in some. And, you need that balance sometimes because those young guys, they bring in a lot of energy and we've got some great raw talent that, that when they get the opportunity, I think you guys are going to see that you know, we're in a good place with our depth. Because while well, you come back in and you feel very comfortable and the guys around know what they're doing the whole time and you've just got to get in and make good decisions and execute your core skills. And I think after maybe having a bit of time off the field, you, you've got to be careful not to go looking for that home run every time, just build yourself in play solid rugby, make good decisions and let the guys around you help you out as well. It's taken those years maybe to build the depth, plus we've got say the likes of Joey and Ty and Mike, we've, we've signed an exciting bunch of talent as well and I think the combination of it all, like we went through some tough years, you look three or four years back and we've built nicely, guys have had great experience now and the young guys are getting a chance so I think the depth is outstanding at the moment. It's amazing, I must say it's something very special, it's something that uh, Sometimes I think I want a, just a camera on my chest so that I can see it again from my side, like sitting on the bench and because you don't forget about it easily, I'm sure. Um, like you just, when, you, when you're going on the field, you just focus on what you need to do. But when you're sitting there and just see everybody and everybody cheering on for the one team, it's really amazing experiencing that. Um, it's same as last uh, two weeks ago, and there were so many months of supporters there. It's this amazing atmosphere, and we have to give some credit to that. Yeah, see, every week is <coughs> important for me to play. Um, I've struggled a few injuries before, and uh, so I really enjoy every game and just want to do my best in every single game that I play. Um, I told John whenever you want to pick me or do whatever, I'm, and I'm a, I trust in him and really whatever he thinks is good, you know, I need to follow that. I think the rest of the team thinks the same way, and that's why we're so, I think, close together um, and doing so well at the moment because we're all on the same page. But yeah, every game is very important for me to, to perform. I can't say that there's a lot that change. I mean, we have Munster standards and Munster isn't just some guys, it's everybody in the team. So we remind ourselves that Munster standards stays the whole as a team. Um, so everybody will chip in on that. That's why it's important to, to stick together. Um, I mean, those guys are leaders in the team, don't get me wrong. They are important in the team, um, but that's why it's important to have good depth also. And I think we have that at the moment.